What's going on, everybody? Welcome to our third. Do I, should I say the number of drafts? I'll just be like, welcome to another Lord of the Rings draft. And then we're going to be like, welcome to the 14th Lord of the Rings. Welcome to the 32nd Lord of the Rings draft. This is Lord of the Rings draft number 112. Oh, God. Kill me. Anyway, it's our third draft. We went 7-2 in our first one and 2-1 in our second one. And we're going to do another traditional draft because I just enjoy it more. And maybe you guys enjoy it more too. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Go down to those YouTube comments and let me know if you enjoy um, traditional three best of three or premiere best of one. Why is it premiere? Nobody knows. I think companies love slapping the word premiere on things and then you're just supposed to believe that it has a premiere, it, that it is premiere. If you don't make any references to the other drafts, you can order the drafts on YouTube in such a way to create an exciting narrative. <laughs> I'd be like, it goes from like three to six to four and people are like, wait a minute. This isn't the order he played them in. Yes, but I'm telling you a story. Oh, what do we got here? Eowyn, Fearless Knight. Four mana for three, four with haste. Enters battlefield, like solid creature and opponent controls a creator power. That seems really good. Holy smokes. Legendary creatures. That's it. I was like, and it comes back? No, it doesn't come back. It's just gone. Holy crap. So any four power creature just goes away forever. Oh, Faramir. What do you got? 3-3 three, three at the beginning of your end step. If a creature died under your control this turn, draw a card. Uh, that's really good, too. Whenever the ring tempts you, if you chose a creature other than Faramir, you make a 1-1. One, one. Is it is it Eowyn or is it Faramir? I think they're both very, very good. I kind of like Eowyn. That card seems really good. So does Faramir. Shit. <coughs> I'm going to take the Eowyn. I like cards that kind of put me in a certain archetype, even though it's not, uh, it's not, it's not recommended very highly. Like you kind of want to be open and figure out what's coming to you, but like this gives me a direction. The Watcher in the Water. It's a nine nine for five. Enters the battlefield tapped with nine stun counters on it. Whenever you draw a card during an opponent's turn, you make a tentacle. Whenever a tentacle dies, untap up to one Kraken and put a stun counter on up to one target non-land permanent. Halewin equals Boros. <laughs> this card seems cool, but I can't tell. For five mana, it's a little rough. There's also it doesn't seem to be a ton of like draw cards during your opponent's turn. A lot of them are sorceries like this. And the the divination, the the three man the four mana one that costs three if the, if you control two legendaries, that one's also. It's one one for three. Does X damage target race the number of creatures you control plus the number of food you control? That seems very good. Let's reserve that. Yeah, this seems extremely difficult to get going. Uh, when you do, can you control? Yeah, that's fine. I, I think Hobbit's thing is fine. Mass two, when you do four Avar steals X damage target creature, where X is the mass. Yeah, this card's also great. This is just like Flame Tongue Kabu. Uh, it's not okay. It's not just like it. Dude, Ranger's Firebrand is hot. Not just because it's fire, but also because it's just a shock that, that the ring tempts you. So this is a 3-3 three, three that makes a 1-1. One, one. Sure. Chain Creature's Spear Cannon. This one's also very good. I think we're just taking this. 4A of Orcs seems really, really good. Legendary Creatures gain protection from each of that creature's colors until the end of the turn. Yeah, sure. That's great. Spell can't be copied. Copy any of a target instant or sorcery spells. No, we're not doing that. No. Uh, four three for four that ring tempts you. I'm okay with that. Quarrel's end was also very good for us. Um, I think we'll just take the four drop. Maybe we'll get another horn. What do you do? Target creature gains indestructible for as long as you've controlled this. Return a creature from your graveyard to the battlefield. That's very good. Up two creatures you control each can. Yeah, we'll take that. That seems super juicy. Three, two for three. When it enters the battlefield, draw a card. If you don't control a legendary creature. So you basically tuck a card if you don't control a legendary creature. If you do, it's just draw a card. Creatures get plus one, plus one. It costs two less if you control. So th three mana. That's actually really good, too. Both of these are sweet. I'm just going to take the... 
the reanimate here. Please tell me there's a card called you shall not. It's it's actually you cannot pass. Um but it doesn't do what you what you said it does. I like that I like how little you've seen about from this set, which is kind of kind of funny. Uh what do you got here? Put a 1/1 one, one counter on target creature with power X. So if there it's a it's a 3 mana and a tap as a sorcery to put a 1/1 one, one counter on something. So this is this is a blink, but then the ring tempts you. Oh wait, is this when it enters the battlefield? Oh yeah, I'll take a blink for that. Sure. Plus all these like other enters the battlefield triggers. That seems pretty cool. Another enter the battlefield trigger. This is a I mean this is a three three with a one one, so this is basically a four four, but they're also both humans. Yeah, that's fine. We're getting a little heavy on the four drops here. <laughs> I mean, is it is it you cannot pass in the books? That's what I heard. Spell costs two less to cast if it targets. Yeah, this card's also pretty decent. I wonder which one's better here. Exile a creature. Or give them... I mean, this always costs three. This sometimes costs three. But this exiles it. And this lets it sit there. So... I think that's an easy choice. Two, two for two with Vigilance. If they if it deals damage to a Goblin or Orc, they just get destroyed. Destroy an artifact or an enchantment. Activate only as a sorcery is really weird. I guess that's the price for just being a, a non-mana, for, for having no mana requirement. Yeah, that seems fine. Sure, Improvise Club is... I, I This, I, I think having a creature to sacrifice is a little rough. Oh, I guess we get another fog. Okay. But four damage is not nothing, so. Coral's End was also very good. This art seems great. I like that I said it seems great as if like, that's the perception I have, but I could be wrong. <laughs> War of the Last Lion. Search library for a legendary card, reveal it, put it in your hand, and shuffle. Creatures you control gain double strike in the ring. This seems really sweet. Destroy a, a creature that blocked or was blocked by a lead. That seems really narrow. Celeborn the Wise. When you attack with one or more elves, scry one. They say another. It's, a, it's another four mana three three. There's a million of them. This side has to have the most four mana three threes in magic history. I'm taking this. This seems good. And we're just going to try to pick up more legendary creatures. Yeah, we can take Galadriel. That works perfectly in our deck. Aowen seems great, though. A second Aowen <laughs> that we can have on the battlefield at the same time. What do these guys do? Stalwarts, five mana for a 4-3. When it enters the battlefield, the ring tempts you. Whenever you draw your second card, put a 1-1 counter on them. Not super... Oh, let's also Smite the Deathless. Oh, that's pretty good. We have a ton of removal already, though. Double Fog, Improvised Club... 4A of Orcs. We'll take this because I think it works better with our our rare. Oh shit, Tom, Bomba, Tom Bombadil himself. As long as there are four more lore counters among sagas, it has hexproof and indestructible. Whenever the final chapter of a saga you control resolves real cards from the top of your library until you reveal saga. So you're just like, I'm going to get another book. And you just keep, you keep churning through the books. A mass one, then a mass two. So this is just, this is literally just a three, three for three over time. And then your creatures get plus one, plus one menace on the third. Whenever it attacks, you may sacrifice the food or pay three. When you do, it's such, so, it's such a big cost, but it's actually a pretty decent ability. I think it's Lembus. We have two sagas right now. Oh, please don't. Please don't highlight Tom Bombadil over here. That's hilarious. They're like, this the one you want? No. I don't know. 
Soldier of the Grey Host, 2-2 two, two Flyer for 4, but it's got Flash, and it gives plus 2, plus 0 to something. Banish. Plus 3, plus 0 for, with a cost of 2 is not, not terrible. This is also good, but... Man, I... I just don't want to have a million three mana removal spells. I also don't want another four drop. I think it's probably better than than the axe. We'll see if I'm wrong. Strider, Ranger of the North. Probably just take uh Took Reaper actually seems better than Nimble Hobbit, I think. You guys can tell me if I'm wrong. Take the envelope, then you can... Yeah, if I take the envelope that adds one mana of any color, I can easily splash the five color. Tom Bombadil. Gimli, Swarming of Moria. Create a treasure token. Is it a 2-2 makes a treasure token? That seems good. And it's not a four drop, so that's something. I do want an, an errand rider of Gondor. Yeah, let's take that guy. Oh, rising of the day. Creatures have haste. Legendary creatures get plus one, plus O. Oh. I wonder how much damage this guy can actually deal. Like, I'll, I'm going to take Rising because I think giving all your guys haste could actually be pretty good. Hey, you cannot pass. Destroy a creature that blocked or was blocked by edges. This was actually, wasn't this, didn't we just see this? <laughs> but I just brought it up because Kerwood asked about it. So, yeah, we'll take that. Sure. That's another removal spell, but what isn't? Treasures also help you draft Tom Bombadil. These are good. These are good points you guys are making. Oh, look, we get a nimble Hobbit anyway, so that's kind of cool. Or we can take. Eh, I'm just gonna take the two drop. Hey, we get the envelope back. I'm gonna take Gimli's axe. I was already on the fence about taking Gimli's axe earlier, so. Again, we have. There's a lot of playables in this in this set, and I'm like at 23 before the third pack even opens. Who is this? Look at this thing. Wow, beautiful. <laughs> okay, well, nothing great here, it looks like. Lobelia Sackville Baggins. Okay. We got East Farthing Farmer. I was really hoping for a horn, but no horn to be found here. Also, like, really terrible uh, uncommons for us as well. Kimley's axe is not legendary, which is kind of funny. You can have multiples. You can have as many axes as you want. They're all Gimli's, you know? So this makes food token. The creature gets plus one, plus one for each food you control. I'm probably just going to take Eastmark. Like, taking Eastmark Cavalier as our first pick is pretty, pretty miserable, but... Like, that pack was not great for us. Oh, Moira Marauder. Moria Marauder. What does this guy do? Two one for two, and you cast an instant sorcery deals one damage to his opponent. Sure, and then we have another four of orcs, which is good. <sighs> this seems hey, this card was great. I'm taking this guy. Oh, what is this? Shadowfax, Lord of Horses. Five mana four four horses. You control have haste. Whenever Shadowfax attacks, you can put a creature card with lesser power. Okay, yeah, that's pretty good. I mean, that seems pretty pretty banging, especially when we're trying to pick up legendaries. Oh, another legendary. 
three three for four when he him or another human enter the, enters the battlefield under your control creatures get plus one plus oh until end of turn and when i say creatures i mean your creatures obviously yeah again that's fine oh another a win hmm fascinating should I play two? Probably. I mean, this is just a great three drop. Like, it's it's definitely better than any of the other three drops we have. It's a, it's a two, four for three that gives herself first striker vigilance. And equip abilities you activate cost one less. So, Gimli's axe, I'm looking at you, buddy. What do you got here? A legendary bird? What's this little dude doing? Oh, this is the good one. Yeah, that card, that card's great. Yeah, we're we're loading up on legendaries here because I think that's helpful to our strategy, especially when we got you you cannot pass. Or uh what was the other card that was oh yeah, er, 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 errand rider. Uh, uh, plus two, plus one. Actually, oh, actually, smite the deathless. I didn't even see that there. That's very good. Another you cannot pass. Ah, I'm going to block with block while I have dinner creatures. I'm sure up to two creatures can plus one, plus one, create a food token. I don't think we need another you cannot pass. I'll take a second breakfast because it's not, it seems not bad. Create a treasure token. I don't know why I read it like that. Like I, like I was just I, like my brain couldn't handle it. Sure. This deck has a lot of cards. Uh, what is this? Uh, two mana any combination spend only cast legendary spells. Doesn't matter when I'm only two colors. I'll take this fat idiot. Mm, sure. You got it. Okay, complete. Go. Oh, it doesn't matter. Your last pick. Sure. Uh, why do we have oh get out of here come on all right so yes 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 maybe but probably yes right uh protector gondor seems fine war of the last alliance actually seems very good three three for four again four a seems good relentless you're also gonna go over here Actually, fine with two Aowens. Two Fogs. This card seems fine. How many creatures are in the deck naturally right now? 15? Okay. So this is a 16th creature. I can put you over here. I don't think I care about Rising of the Day. This is also another creature that I can put over here. So this is four cards right now. That guy seems very good. Smite seems great. I don't know if I care about imp Improvised Club. We have a lot of removal that's just better than this. I think the four damage to any target is really strong. Yeah, these are all really good. I can probably cut one Nimble Hobbit. I don't really care about that.
Hold on. Uh, let me. Kurt's chatting to me. Kurt, Kurt's like, you should come to PAX in September. And I'm like, I'm still looking for a job. Uh, man, having a job is so much better than not having a job. So this is 46. If I cut these, it's 44. And then we still need two cuts. How many legendary creatures do we have? Quite a few, I think. One, two, three, four. Five, six. I'm not sucking on a clarinet. <laughs> hey man, you sucking on a clarinet? No, this is just like I, I keep I I've mentioned it already. This is like a piece of um so the Elgato like flex arms, they connect and they have like a bunch of different uh I've gotta put it in front of me to see it a bunch of different connectors and like you can extend them and angle them any way you want. So I have like one of the extension pieces here and I'm just, just playing with it. Um, I think you cannot pass is pretty, is much narrower than, than the other removal. I think this stays in and we take the other one out. Okay. Um, how many is this? Still 15 creatures, 14 creatures. I took out a hobbit. So this is search lottery for a legendary creature, put it in your hand, and then shuffle. It doesn't put the creature into play, which makes sense. But it's also like... I don't think... I think this is kind of meh. Like, I just don't want to spend four mana to get a creature. Like, I'd rather just have a four mana creature. <clears throat> it's great that the ring tempts me and all, but, you know. This ramps us to five. So it's a two, two for three that gives us a thing. This is a, this is a three, three for three on turn four that, that gives us a menace thing. If I take these out, I'm at 41, which I'm okay with. <clears throat> In terms of removal, we have uh, Hobbit Sting. Improvised Club was one I was going to take out. Yeah, that seems good. Uh, so we have Hobbit Sting, Smite the Deathless, Double Fog, and... Uh, Banish from Edoras. So this is 14 creatures. If we take this guy out, it's 13 creatures. Are any of these cards... Oh, and 4A is actually... Yeah, this is actually fine. I can take those out, and I think this is our deck. That seems good. I'm just uh I'm just responding. All right. <clears throat> what if the set was oops all Frodo and it was just <laughs> 150 Frodo variations? You know what if? What if? It says draw two relevant cards, sure. Um, 
But really, it only says draw one relevant card because, like, I'd rather play if I if I play a creature card on that turn instead. I'm playing a four mana creature instead of the saga, so now I have one creature in play. I, instead, I would have a total of two creatures. I have a saga and two creatures versus one creature. If that makes sense. Oh good, I drew double double Aowens. Uh I'm gonna start with Mountain in case we draw that goblin. Smart. Smart smart magic plan. Mm, okay. Yeah, get your get your basic land. I was in fact typing a novel. It's all typed up. And now I've now I finished it. I'm really glad you guys were here for it. Uh, I'll give you vigilance. It's done. It was Kerwit. I was responding to Kerwit. We're proud of you. Thank you, guys. Really appreciate it. Search the library for a land real and create a food token. And then it makes another food token, and then you make tokens. So it puts a counter on this. Boy, this is... Things are really things are really happening here, huh? What does this guy do? Creatures get plus one, plus O oh until end of turn. Wild. So one more counter on this guy, and this guy's gonna do the do the deed for you, you know. Oh, it doesn't matter. Gains first strike and vigilance. I'll give you vigilance, and I will not attack. How's that sound? Pretty good. You're playing Lord of the Rings with the space. <laughs> I am. I am playing Lord of the Rings with the Space Lands. Because you know what? Lord of the Rings still takes place in a universe somewhere. On a planet. So, you know. Is it really that much of a stretch? No. I guess we're just taking three. Most things take place on planets, if not in space, you know? Okay. Exile a creature. Exile a creature. Do I want to get rid of a guy? What's... What you got for me? Nothing? Okay. Give me that first strike. Oh no. We're having a bad day. So you had a bad day. Tell me, don't lie. Yep, we're having a good time. So you had a bad day. Oh wow, you're attacking with a 3 2. I wonder whatever you could have. I will block and assume that nothing will go wrong. Actually, that's totally fine. We have another Aowen in hand, so. Joke's on you, dum dum.
They have four cards. We have two cards. Look at these beautiful foods. These are probably the closest to, like, actual classical art that I've ever seen. Whenever Radagast the Brown or another... Okay. Whenever another non-token creature enters the battlefield, look at the top X cards where X is the creature's mana value. You reveal a creature card that doesn't share a type. Yeah, cool. So you just get to draw a card every time another non-token creature enters the battlefield. Good friggin' lord. How is that reasonable? How are these cards reasonable? What's even happening? Unbelievable, man. What's it gonna be? Doesn't matter. Literally has no effect whatsoever. That's wild, man. So you play six drop, you get to look at the top six cards, you just gotta find a creature that doesn't share a type. Cool. Well, I guess they didn't hit there. That guy just naturally drew a card, so, you know. Oh my god, this is miserable. I think this deck needs more tricks, you know? Also, this is, like, this is such an awkward card because you just keep it in your hand and you don't actually want to play it. Exile a creature and opponent comes with greater power. Like, nothing has greater than three power. I mean, there's just no attacks that are any good here. My kingdom for some reach. I also have four cards in hand. Good grief, man. Oh. Okie dokie. Well, hmm. I have an answer, you see. Like, they have seven available mana, but they didn't do anything, and I'm really... Kind of put off like that, by that, like that, by that. Destroy all creatures power three or greater than create a food token with each creature for each creature you control. Cool. Well, we can finally get rid of this, so that's kind of cool.
Drake's from white. Sure. Uh huh. Let's go with Vigilance. They have six food tokens. It's only 18 life. That's totally sustainable. Guess I'll block here. I think you're going to sack a food and deal me seven. Sure. Go to one. Oh, no, you had two of them? Cool. Man, what a shock. I would have never thought you had the exact two cards that you needed to kill me in that exact moment. What are the odds, you know? Uh, what's that? 100%? Sounds good. Uh huh. I think our deck is good. I think we just had a very slow start. And that's what I'm sticking with. Let's play first. Again, we're playing for that, that Moira goblin. We did not draw him. <laughs> uh, this guy. Great. Just great. Man, I was like, I'm going to get in there with my 2-1. They're not going to have anything. Oh, you got a Frodo? Sounds good. Sounds good. Good deal. Do I just put fog on Frodo? <laughs> like, and then I guess they sacrifice it to get rid of. Uh... Hmm. The problem is like nothing we can do right now feels good. This doesn't feel good because you don't get the value and they just double block it. 
this doesn't feel good because we, they can literally just put it on this guy and sacrifice it. This doesn't feel good because I don't want to like lose a card just because I don't have the legendary creature in play. So it's like, it's just like every card has a condition that we just, it's just not satisfying. Wow. That's a lot of West fold. That's a lot of riders. Oh boy. I guess I have to be blocked. Yeah, sure. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Just throw that guy out. I have not heard the Flight of the Concords, Lord of the Rings song. I was not a big Flight of the Concords fan. Not because I didn't like them, I just never really got into them. Yes. Well, wonderful. I mean, this has to be just better than not doing anything, right? Because then next turn we get to play this guy. They're also on two mana, so... Take eight. Oh, just kidding. I will just blink my guy. Hmm. Sure. Get in there, little Frody. God, so much is happening. Look at this wall of text. Oh, you did not do anything, eh? I mean, getting this on Frodo seems good. You got it. Good deal. That's the spirit of Frodo Baggins. Hmm. Solid. Okie dokie. Let us trade. And by trade, I mean kill your guy. Oh, boy. Oh, dear. This is really good ring art. Wow, that is exceptional. Uh, return a creature. I think we're probably just getting the protector of Gondor. I would have liked to land here so I could play two of these four cards. I guess we can try to hit one here. We did not. Indestructible. That doesn't do anything, unfortunately. Well, that's a bummer. 
Well, now our opponent has more land than us, despite being stuck on two for 15 turns. Okay, they whiffed. Perfect. <laughs> Thank Jesus. Wait, what is it? Oh, I have to sacrifice it. Oh, that's so much worse. I thought it was destroyed at the end of combat because, you know, that's usually what it is. Sack that food. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she deals five next turn with Gimli's axe. <laughs> sure. She still deals five. Is this Butterbur Bree Innkeeper at the beginning of your end step? If you don't control the food, create a food. No. That's fine. Yeah, I'll take the extra three. Really? Wow. Cool. Uh, gotta kill you. Got your ring bearer out of the way at least. What is it? Thingy for end step? Yeah. Making foods. Oh boy. What a cool card that just keeps giving. Oh look, the ring tempts you again. Yeah, you know what else is putting in work? Every card on their side of the board. Every card is doing something. You got it. 
Oh, look, another Eowyn. Fantastic. Exactly what you wanted. <sighs> you got two legendary creatures and 20 cards left? I'll give you your second legendary creature. I have three blockers. So you'd be what, four? You'd be seven. I can kill you and you. Yeah, that's actually pretty good, right? decline <laughs> for obvious reasons so now we have menace first strike vigilance yeah that seems good i mean this is just eating two creatures a turn really oh i guess i could eat one Well, they have no cards in hand, so let's see if, if top deck mode is good for them. No, I think they're just cracking a food so they can make another food. Yeah, it sounds. Uh, creatures you control get plus one, plus oh until end of turn. But I can get it for free, right? Yeah, this is probably the end. <laughs> you have two blockers. They both have to go here. So you take four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, and twelve. Yeah, make sure you you gain your food food life. Hashtag food life. Go to one. Oh boy. Target creature, huh? Decline. Oh my god, let's just go. This is only game two. Just let's just go to the next game. <laughs> Why are we taking so long? Ugh. You ever just want to be done, you know? You're like, let's just end it. Um. I'm tempted to bring in more like tricks. Creatures are gonna less of control of creature. Like three mana, all our creatures get plus one. It's alright. I think second breakfast is actually pretty decent against them. Because they have a lot of big butts. Opponent is feeling sluggish after eating all that food. See, that's that's a quality comment. Uh, 
out. No white mana. I think we're good. We're on the draw. And we got Quarrel's End if we hit any other land, so. Oh, look, it's your boy Frodo again. Oh, that's exactly what I wanted. That's hilarious. I couldn't think of the name, but I was like, let's get that lightning bolt. Oh, beautiful. The dream is being lived. It's all happening. I mean, this guy's just going to get through, right? There's no way they block, so... Yeah, that's how Sauron wanted that to go, too. And just kill that dude. Okay, well. I'm actually attacking with this guy because if they want to block, then we get to make this our ring bearer. And then we get to just play this without having to discard. And I think all of the cards in our hand are better than... Um the 2-1, especially when we also get the ring. We did not draw land, unfortunately, but that's okay. Well, that's kind of exactly what we're looking for. I guess we could have not attacked with the Rider of Gondor because these guys are going to be uh, not going to... Like, it's the only guy they can block, so... just play the axe and put it on here right that seems really good or we can put it on here they have seven mana what can they have for seven mana they have two cards they might actually just not have anything Look at that beautiful legendary orc army. See, that makes our tail better because now we can get back your girl. Four, five. Boy, they really got everything, don't they? Hmm. 
It's a good use of mana. Beautiful. Let's get in there. That was a lot of life, but now they have no food, so. I mean, it's got to be Eowyn, right? Like, we're not... Do we miss lethal? I don't think so. Yeah, there's no way we could have dealt one more point I don't think so my my turn uh, choose the big ones resolves What? How do you have how do you have all these cards? Okay, you got it. We all just use all the things in our hands. Seems fine. Easy game, easy life. Is that what they say? Yeah, today's rough, though, because it's like uh, there's a lot of other streamers to compete with. Like today is uh, <laughs> opening day for Lord of the Rings, so a lot going on. I will play first. This hand seems fine. Oh, while he's gone. While he was here, and now he's gone. Oh, beautiful. Two drop. Wonderful. Oh, wow, look at this. You got. That's so funny. You're like, I'm going to pick this island and this plains. Uh, I guess we're just attacking. No one gets away from the Took Reaper. That was just, you just cycled this. Fantastic. I don't have any four drops, so I guess we're just gonna play you. We'll give you first strike, because I assume everything that blocks is gonna have two toughness. And we're just gonna be done. Yep, that's the one. <laughs> that's the one we were expecting. I think we're just putting the guy on the board, right? 
Uh, whenever you, it's what is this? Whenever you attack with two more creatures, target player, target attacking creature. We'll use you. We'll give you first strike. We'll give you flying. And now we're doing good. Well, if you're not watching this stream, that Packer, you've been here all day, dude. Really appreciate you, buddy. Hunter came back in here. I opened my door again. I God, I love drawing Aowen twice. What does this guy do? Does he die? Does he die? Exile a creature. Get him out of here. Gonna give you first strike. And give you flying as well. Oh, wow. You're just taking... Wow, that's... It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. Wild. Oh, where were you traveling from, buddy? Do they not have a legend? Oh, they do, because they got the ring bear. This card's... It's so... Man, making the ring give one of your creatures legendary is such a great... What did they put on top? Okay. It's such a, just a great little little thing, you know? You again. First strike. All attack. Aren't they dead? I have five power and floaty boys. What on the earth? I don't get it. I don't get it. That was a weird choice that you made. It was not a smart strategic decision. I uh, thought you may make a better decision than that, but you didn't. You made a bad decision. I'm just gonna submit, I guess. Uh, yeah, this is a good hand. It's a little expensive again, but I, I, the, the cards are great. Again, we'll play for that two mana goblin that we've never drawn yet. I don't think he's in our deck. Just gonna slip on that ring. Slip on, slip on, slip on, gonna slip on that ring. Okay, so we have one card. Boromir. Whenever an opponent casts a spell with no mana spent to cast it, counter that spell. I mean, still gonna get rid of him. And if you wanna sacrifice your guy to do that, you gotta, that's fine, whatever. I would like another land here. That would be nice. Well, that was the end of his lands when he had five drop, four drop, four drop, five drop, four drop in hand. Oh, boy. Uh, block here because it actually gets rid of your ability to Bring back Boromir if it works. Okay, sure. It didn't work. Hey, got a little landy boy.
mean, you have three cards. I have six. So, I mean, I feel like being able to just get our things out. This bird's going to really get on my... He's going to really get on my nerves. <laughs> Gonna get on my nerves. Let's play this guy. Attack with this man. I'll play this guy. We're not playing him. I guess we can do this on your turn. Little bird, I'd like to. Send you to your grave, little bird, little bird, goodbye. Yep, that's fine. Oh, hello, my dear. Thank you. Oh, Katie with the resub, supporting our, our family when Franklin is still looking for a job. Beautiful. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, that's the that's the ticket. Oh, that's the. This is gonna be beautiful. Uh, yep. Put this guy in there. Trigger everything. Oh god. Oh god. This is a bloodbath. Is that going to do it? I don't know. Who you got down there? Down where? What are you saying, babe? Tap a creature. You got it. So you're a one, but you're ten. Aren't you dead? You are dead. You have died. That bath ain't going to save you. On the floor next to you. Hunter's behind me. But that's it. Should I have a dog cam in here? I used to have a dog cam. Oh, what do we got here? A transmogrant's crown. That's not a crown. No one's wearing this thing. Except the Batman who laughs. We have a lot of dogs. I need specifics. Oh, it's Hunter. Hunter is behind me. I kicked him out earlier because he did that hacking cough thing like six times. And I just, it was so jarring, I just couldn't deal with it. I was like, no, you gotta go. I'm sorry, I love you, but. He was like, ah, and I was like, oh God, it's so jarring. Do I sound echoey again? That's weird. I only have one microphone on. Maybe I just need acoustic paneling in here. Uh, keep it again. Got a two drop. Again, we're gonna play a mountain first in case we draw that two mana goblin. Orc, Orkland. We didn't do it. So now we're just gonna play Eastmark Cavalier. Wow. So many dogs. Let's do a little first strike, huh? You got a double block? You didn't block at all. Okay, well, sure. There's gonna be that 4-4 that everyone loves. It was nothing, they didn't do anything. That's wild. It's the first of the month. Wake up, wake up. It isn't actually not the first of the month. First strike damage.
What if I say no? What do you do then? You don't care? Sure. Wait, what? Oh, that's really, that's really obnoxious. What the fuck? That's really annoying. So what, I lost three cards, they lost two cards? They lost these two. I mean, I guess that's something. Well, next time we get to draw two, so that's good. Oh, they just lose to Shadow Facts? That's weird. Did not see that coming. I mean, I don't know enough about their deck. I saw two dogs and a removal spell and a pump spell, so. Two dogs. Keep. Okay, we're doing it one more time, but now we need to draw two cards, so it's not even relevant, but I'd still rather play towards that than not play towards that, you know? Okay, we do need a land here. Going her into Errand Rider seems really good if we hit one land. Oh, uh, yeah, definitely tempted to just kill that on the spot. Does it, whenever you create a token, put a 1-1 one, one counter? Oh, yeah, that's actually fine for now. Into the bath song. <laughs> oh, Samwise Gamgee. 2-2 two, two for 2. Whenever another non-token creature enters the battlefield, create a food token. Sacrifice 3 food return a historic card from your graveyard hand. That's really good. So I probably need to murder it, unfortunately. I don't think there's a plus two. Eh, there might be the stupid plus one, plus three. But it's just not that good. Sure. That's actually totally fine. Like. Seems fine. <sighs> That's what we're looking for. Uh, we'll give you first strike and then pass the turn. And then Katie left. She was like, I'm out. This this stream sucks. And I was like, oh no, my stream. So many dogs, man. Perfect. Sure. Uh, no blocks. Guess I'll choose you, and we'll give her vigilance, and then we won't attack. Okay. Yeah, Katie. The only the only time me and Katie talk is when she when she hops in the stream chat. We get a few words in, and then she pops out, and then I'm like, ah, oh, healthy marriage. Jesus, this is ridiculous. Mm-hmm. 
Okay. Well, I'm definitely trying to kill that. Beautiful. Uh, no attacks now, but next turn we're definitely attacking with the Moria Marauder. And we don't have to, we just win the game. 3 0 for another Lord of the Rings Tales of Middle Earth draft. I think that's what it's called. Doesn't matter. Really appreciate you guys hanging out and watching the, watching the draft. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think of this set. We're going to claim our reward. 2,500. Can't even give me two entry fees. That's really sad. Two play in points. Use 20 of them to enter a qualifier play-in event. Anyway, of course we get them on the last turn. Don't even get to swing with them, but what can you do? Thanks for watching, guys. Really appreciate the support. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Be sure to follow on Twitch or subscribe on YouTube. They're great ways to support the channel. And uh, I'll see you next time.